We are in suburban Cleveland, Ohio, and we are about to tour the factory that makes the ultimate Class B. In fact, some people say this might be the most expensive Class B camper van on the market. We're Mike and Jennifer Wenland. We're going to take you to Advanced RV and show you some beautiful vans. Advanced RV in Willoughby, Ohio has a worldwide reputation for making high quality, luxury, Class B motorhomes that feature customized interiors, innovative designs, and state-of-the-art engineering. We've known owner Mike Neuendorfer and his wife Marcia since they started the business in 2012, and we consider them good friends. But until now, we had yet to visit the 85,000 square foot factory located on six acres of land Hi, near hey, Cleveland. Hi. How are you? Welcome. We were met by Mike and one of his key employees, Brittany. We finally got to see us here. We are so happy to finally get here. Well, come on in. We'll show you around. Let me, let me take your coats and uh, we'll hang them up. This is the cleanest factory I've ever seen. <laughs> well, thank you. The first thing we learned is that each van is named by the customer and from the time it comes in till the time it is delivered, usually a year-long process, it is referred to by that name. These are quarter million dollar vans. Some of them sell for as much as $350,000. They are all luxury. This is a van named Karma. All of our vans have names. They don't have numbers, they don't have any of that. Every client names their van whatever they choose. Okay, so this so, is Karma. Correct. That gives them the personal touch, makes it their van, not just not just an advanced RV, but it's their their van. And at the end of the process, the customers are presented a coffee table book that documents the birth and the building of their new advanced RV. And this is how it starts. This is an empty shell of a Sprinter van. Next step, all the cabinets, the insulation. So, so check this out. You see this material up on the roof and on the sides? This is Thinsulate. Now, you know what Thinsulate is. Many of you have clothes that use Thinsulate for insulation. But not only does it insulate temperature-wise, it also is great for sound dampening on the road. So after we put the Thinsulate in and get all the penetrations for air conditioning and fan and uh, other things, put the windows in, uh, then we vapor barrier all the walls and ceiling. Uh, the floor already has soundproofing in, so it acts as a vapor barrier. It also has noise attenuation capabilities. Oh, I'm just cleaning up the spacer block. The, uh, the Houghton air conditioner here sits a lot more level with a spacer block. Patrick, nobody will ever and see that. No, well, I will. How long have you been doing cabinetry work? About 30 years. How long have you been uh, working with wood like this? Construction and woodworking, probably 20 years, maybe a little more. We call this our cabinet shop, uh, but I had somebody come in here who's uh, very familiar with the kind of equipment we have, and, and we work with hardwood, plywood, laminates, and he said, this is a furniture shop, it's not a cabinet shop. Uh, so we have the capability of building full furniture, and we have the guys that have that kind of experience. foam that we use on mattresses and also pillows and stuff is called Pincor and it's a pure latex, uh, no VOC, very comfortable, comes in three different uh, firmnesses 
So if clients come in, they use, they try out the different firmnesses and they decide what they want. We put that over a base layer of more conventional foam, again, that comes in different thickness or different firmnesses. So we get a two layer mattress. We think that the comfort of sleeping in a motorhome, because that's the most time you spend in it, is very important. They have a number of different coverings you can get for your sofa bed. This happens to be ultra leather, which isn't real leather, but it's ultra leather, and it's more expensive than real leather, and it is soft, and it is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, ultra leather's nice, but how about this? This is actually cowhide. I mean, real tanned cowhide. Now this, this is comfortable. This is VB air suspension. We take the OEM suspension off of a Mercedes Benz and we put on an air ride system. So what we do is we remove the OEM leaf springs with a mo single mono spring and then we also replace it with uh, airbags here on both sides. Um, put in a new sway, heavy duty sway bar on the front and then another pan hard bar in the rear. We had two ride height sensors on each side, one here, one here. And then we replace also the uh, stock shocks with uh, new VB shocks. So one of the things when Marsha and I had factory built motorhomes before we started ARV, it was the suspension was really tough, especially when you're in the back. You couldn't really do anything. We called it the trampoline effect. You, you can watch in the rear view mirror, somebody on the rear seat of a stock uh, sprinter might be elevated over bumps and sways by six or eight inches off the seat. That was not acceptable to us. Uh, we, we replaced the total rear suspension with an air suspension. Why air suspension? What does that do? The, the air suspension adjusts actually for the, for the needs, for the load of the vehicle. It automatically keeps the, lift, the elevation of the chassis exactly the same under all loads. It stabilizes side to side. It's dynamic. It has a computer. It has a compressor. It has a receiver. And uh, it's dynamic. We had to give it a try. We jumped into one of the finished vans and took it for a spin on the notoriously bumpy winter roads around Cleveland. So I'm driving this, a couple of things, that VB suspension, that air suspension, uh, it's really noticeable, even up here in the front, driving it. The other thing is, is how quiet all that insulation that we saw uh, makes the ride in here. I really don't hear a lot of wind noise. That's good. I agree, it's a much smoother and quieter ride. What do you say we go try sitting in the back? Okay. Hey Mitchell and Brittany, how about if we uh, switch uh, drivers? We want to sit in the back and see what it's like back there. Working okay. with us, let's do it. Okay, so we are in the back now and we want to see what the, the suspension is like. And we're on kind of a bumpy road, so you know, there's going to be some. What do you think? Well, I think it's winter time and you know, the roads are a little bumpier than normal, so this yeah. is a really good testing ground. Remember, we're in Cleveland and it's cold and expansion joints in the road, so there's a lot, but uh, I mean, I could work here. I, I could not in the back of most springs. You know? yeah. I mean, I have done, I did one video in the back of the last one we had, and I was doing this the whole time. <laughs> so this is, this is this pretty is a stable. This ride. I mean, I think people on a long trip would like it. This has two seat belts, so this is nice. You can put people back here. Mm -hmm. I like the suspension. I, I do too. Back at the factory, we resumed our tour with Mike and Marsha Neuendorfer, observing the build process, getting our shots, and learning about the technology and advanced RV processes. But when we saw this guy hugging a van, actually hugging a van, we had to stop and find out what was going on. Turned out, this was the day he took delivery of his dream RV. <laughs> I am. So, so you excited. you have downsized. I have. From what to what? 
from a 36 foot class A, 28,000 pounds worth, down to this little baby right here. What was your factor in downsizing? It's just me and my wife, and I'm not gonna be hauling a lot of kids, and it was just too big before. This is so much easier to maneuver and drive around and park. Yeah. You look pretty happy. I am, thank you. Now this process of buying from ARV, how, how yes. long did that take, Steve? Uh, almost a year and a half. That's a long wait. Yes, it is. <laughs> it, if I were a child waiting for this, I would have gone crazy. And it's only after having lived as long as I have that I was able to survive all this an anticipation. <laughs> now, you spent a lot of money on this. I did. Were you surprised how much a Class B can cost? Uh, way back when I was doing my research, a little bit, but this, uh, this is probably 50% more than what I spent for the Class A, but everything in it is so much nicer. The fit and finish of all the woodwork, all the things on the inside, gorgeous. Can you show me it? So this is our new RV, taking delivery of it today. Yay, finally, after so long. <laughs> And uh, refrigerator, freezer, regular fridge, microwave, control system. This is a uh, silver leaf. It has lots of things that you can monitor. The galley, single nice deep sink. I don't see any cooking. Uh, oh, uh, equipment? Yeah, what do you, what do you cook so, with? Normally, they would provide you with uh, an induction, and my domestic supervisor vetoed that, and so instead we have a skillet. And it has an electric plug-in right there. Just set it up, plug it in there, set the temperature, and we're off and running. You know? My domestic supervisor, she says the same thing. Really? Yeah, yeah, she can cook anything in it. It's the same, it's yes. Like, yeah. And it's nice and big and doesn't have pieces to it. Yeah. Simple. Beautiful cabinetry. Oh, yeah. So nice. A workspace. Workspace, cooking. <clears throat> And a nice table that, uh, I have to undo this, that comes out. It has folding leaves on it, and I think it has magnets in there yeah. to keep it from coming apart. See, but, I see you have custom drapes. Oh, yes. <clears throat> My wife found this material at one of the fabric stores not too far from where we live and it's very much like her Chinese brush painting that she does so she saw this and fell in love with it and so she ordered a bolt of it and then had it uh, set aside and I think somebody from our ARV went over and picked it up and they used it for all the drapes in here. You picked out all the colors, yes. all the furnishings. Yes. You've got some electronic on, is that a CB radio I saw? So there's a CB radio up there. We have a satellite dish antenna, direct TV box. Uh, this is a, a switcher box. We have four different places where you can plug a HDMI cable into and watch a TV. And we've got uh, an Apple TV along with this, so we can select between the two. So the, the advantage of ARV over other class B makers, what, what was that in your book? Why did you pick this company? 
I looked all over the internet and this one was by far the best that I could see so that was one thing another thing that I really liked was when I phoned up and had some questions they said uh, hang on a few minutes uh, we'll have the owner call you up and I talked to him for probably 45 minutes or an hour and he was out jaunting around the US somewhere in, in the, the test RV and so he spent his time off talking to me and talking talking technical stuff he's an engineer so all of this stuff right here I mean takes a lot of engineering work to come up, up with it and get it built. I'm an engineer, so he and I hit it off right away. Quality? Quality. Accessibility? Look, look at this. Gosh, this stuff is beautiful. All the fit and finish on my Class A. It was all kind of uh, uh, plastic facade. It was nice, but it just isn't as nice as that. We were curious about what other features ARV offered. Mike snuck us into a model with articulating beds, a very luxurious option. All right, Jenna, how do you like these beds? Um, I love them. You love them? I do. Okay, love you got them. your remote control? Yes, I do. See so. that little thing up at the top? Yeah. Push that. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. I don't even have to put a quarter in. We got a massage bed. Is this is this cool or what? This is very cool. Oh, oh my god. I think there's another good. one you can do at the feet too. Right. Oh yeah. Oh. Look at that. Oh. I wonder how long these can run. Just keep putting quarters. Oh we don't have to put quarters in because we got a remote control. Oh this is very relaxing. This is fun. Oh look at you can hit it three different levels. Oh that sounds good. Holy oh, yeah. mackerel. This is too cool. This is. Now it's time to go to bed. You hit flat. Right. And look at that. It's going down. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. So how long do you think we can stay here before they discover us and kick us out? Well, I know where you are. Oh, oh. no. We've been found out. Mm. Look at this. This is the accent light. It's in green. Check this out. I can make it red. I can make it any color purple. Whatever mood you are in, there's blue, green. Is that cool or what? This is a little thing that really is a big thing. Being able to control the lights from bed. Center lights, under cabinet lights, accent lights, all the outdoor lights, all the different lights. Being able to control it from the bed. Being connected is pretty important when you're on the road and just about every customer asks for some Wi-Fi boosting, some cellular boosting. And here's one of the units. Up front is a uh, built-in antenna for the cell phone booster, uh, the WeBoost system. And right here is the Wi-Fi booster. So it'll grab Wi-Fi signals and amplify those up so you are always connected inside the coach. One of the things ARV is known for is super quiet air conditioning. Let me show you. Is that on low? That's on high. Yes, you can hear it, but you can actually have a conversation while it's running. This is a quiet air conditioner. It's about seven decibels quieter and 20% more efficient than most that we've tested. Here's something that's unusual. Not sure if you want to buy? You can rent one of these. Um, it's a nice way to try before you buy. A lot of our clients do that. Um, you can go for a week, you can go for two weeks. Um, I've had people go for as long as a month across country. What Advanced RV does is they customize everything for their customer, whatever their customer would like. And the people who designed this one obviously had two little dogs and they made a special little crate for their pets. It is customizing the features that sets ARV apart. Luxury, quality, that's what they strive for in each build, made uniquely for each customer. No two vans are exactly the same. We hope you've enjoyed our visit to Advanced RV. We have had a great time here meeting everybody and getting 
an idea of how these beautiful vans are built. Now, we hope to do a whole bunch of factory tours like this, so if you'd like to see us visit an RV manufacturer of a specific brand, let us know. We'll see if we can make that happen too. But this was a lot of fun. I've always wanted to come here. I've always wanted to come here as well, and uh, time well spent. Yep. Hey, do us a favor. Before you leave, give us a thumbs up on this video, and it would really be a big help to us also if you would make sure that you're subscribed to the RV Lifestyle Channel right here on YouTube. We are Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.